Last time on Total Drama Island, the campers had their survival skills put to the test when they spent the entire night camping in the woods. Katie and Sadie's friendship was strained when Katie's sense of direction got them totally lost. Duncan's mad ghost storytelling skills freaked out the killer bass. <laughs> and uh, Izzy played a prank on the gophers by dressing up as a bear. Unfortunately, a real bear showed up and the gophers spent the night up in a tree, which really stunk for them. Cody peed in his pants and then it rained. Basically, no one got any sleep last night. Ultimately, the killer bass were the ones on the chopping block, leaving Katie without a marshmallow. Yep, the challenge was rough all right, and if I have anything to say about it, today's will be even more brutal. Luckily, I do. What fresh horror have we planned for our campers? Find out next on Total Drama Island. The moment that I'm doing fine, you guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. you to keep going. Come on, let's go back and join the others. <laughs> I need you. It was a long goodbye. What do you guys want? Come by to rub it in? We got some extra dessert after our tuck shop party. Thought you might want some. So what? You're just being nice? Okay. Owen sank up our cabin and we need some time to air out. <laughs> Ew, dude. No! I mean, no thanks. I'm good. What, are you on a diet or something? No! I just don't like green jelly, okay? Dude, it's just a gummy worm. Sorry for tripping. Snakes just freak me out. I feel you. Chickens give me the creeps, dude. You're afraid of chickens? <laughs> wow, that's that's really lame, man. So suddenly everyone's having this big share fest by the fire. Like Beth went on and on about how her mortal fear is being covered by bugs. Harold's afraid of ninjas. Even Heather admitted she's afraid of sumo wrestlers. What's my worst fear? I guess being buried alive. Walking through a minefield in heels. Flying, man. That's some crazy stuff. Uh, I would never go up in a plane. Never. I'm scared of hail. Small but deadly, dude. Being left alone in the woods. <laughs> Bad haircuts. Oh, OK, I changed mine. That's so much scarier than a minefield. Having to defuse a time bomb under pressure. I'm not really afraid of anything. Baloney! Oh, really? Well, what exactly is your phobia, Mr. Know-it-all? Uh, Celine Dion Music Store standees. Uh, excuse me? I didn't quite get that. Dude, did you say Celine Dion music store standees? Oh, I love Celine Dion! What's a standee? You know, that cardboard cutout thing that stands in the music store. 
Don't say it, dude. Kind of like a life-size but flat Celine. So if we had a cardboard standee right now... Shut it! What about you guys? Okay, well, I hate mimes. Like, a lot. All right, Courtney, you're afraid of something. Spit it out. Nope. Nothing. <laughs> That's not what she said last night. Duncan, did you ever consider that maybe I was just humoring you and your lame-o story? Sure, sure, princess. Whatever floats your boat. Shut it! Campers, your next challenge is a little game I like to call Phobia Factor. Prepare to face your worst fears. Worse than this? We're in trouble. Now for our first victims, Heather. Meet us all in the theater. It's sumo time. <gasps> Gwen, you, me, the beach, a few tons of sand. <gasps> Wait, how did they know those were your worst fears? Because we told them? At the campfire last night. What's my worst fear? I guess being buried alive. Wait, they were listening to us? It's a reality show, Einstein. They're always listening to us. That's like eavesdropping. Chef Hatchet! Didn't you have a special order for Tyler here today? Chickens give me the creeps, dude. about how her mortal fear is being covered by bugs. And Beth sets the bar way up there. some crazy stuff. Uh, I would never go up in a plane. Never. Scoring the Gophers their second point on the board. Bridget began her six hours of solitude in the woods feeling pretty confident. I'm not scared. Six hours out here is nothing. There's enough air for an hour. You only need to do five minutes. As long as we decide to dig you up. Not funny, Chris. Sheesh. Take a pill. I'll be listening the whole time. Just yell for me if you panic, and I'll dig you right up. Goodbye, cruel world.
sorry for tripping. Snakes just freak me out. Hey, you can do this, buddy. Ah! It blinked. It means she likes you. It's the smallest snake ever, DJ. Come on! Yeah, but it's slimy and scaly. Slithery! We need this point, DJ! Suck it up! What? We're heading back to Loserville, people. Only in the mind. You still alive in there? Only three more minutes. And then you'll pick me up, right? Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I promise. I need some kind of distraction. Tell me a story. Um, why do you hate mine so much? <sighs> My mom took me to this carnival once when I was four so I could see the elephants. I was stoked. Yeah? I was so busy watching them that I lost her for a minute. I called out. But when I turned, all I could see was this horrible white face with black lips pretending to be me. I screamed and tried to run, but every time I turned around, he was there doing this creepy fake run and scream routine. Okay then, we've got two minutes before Gwen's done. Cody, you're up. Having to defuse a time bomb under pressure. All right, Cody, this garbage bomb's going off in exactly 10 minutes. Everything you need to know to defuse it is on these schematic blueprints. What? No way, I can't do this. Then, uh, <laughs> I suggest you find a safe place to hide, brah. Later, dude. Wait, you're not gonna watch? No way! That's a live bomb, dude! <laughs> There's no wall there, man! Stop being creepy! Well, what exactly is your phobia? C Celine Dion music store standees. She's pretty. She's nice. Just one hug and you're done. That, that looks really real, man. Dude, she's made of cardboard! Get in the game! Hey, it's okay if you can't do it. <sighs> All right, I'll try. You can do this. Okay, okay. What's the matter, mine can't swim? Stop! Uh, your makeup will run. Take that, you makeup wearing freak! Nicely played, Trent. Unfortunately, I don't think things are going quite so smoothly for our buddy Jeff. I'm scared of hail. It's small, but... Deadly, dude.
the cloud go lower and pelt him harder? You are one sick dude. But yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, do you ever feel like you've forgotten something? Sometimes. I usually ignore it and the feeling goes away. <laughs> Watch this. I'm gonna bury him in hail. Bury? Oh, no! When? Okay, okay, okay. Bridge, you can do this. Only four hours and 15 minutes to go. Ah, ah. Oh, don't even bother trying to freak me out, producer people. What was that? If I had to guess, I'd say Cody just blew himself up. Oops. Is anyone here? Uh, girls? <laughs> Ladies? Anyone? Gwen, you did it. She's all right. She's all right. Actually, I'd like to thank the producers for making me face my fear. I'm proud of myself. There's really nothing to be afraid of. We did it! We made it through the whole day! Are you ready? One, two, three! How cute you are! Oh my gosh! You are too! All right, gang, we're in the ninth inning. Tyler, for your challenge, you need to get into this pen for three minutes with these chickens. You can do it, Tyler! Yeah, unless, of course, you're chicken. I'm not sure we're getting anywhere on this one. Tyler, this is the last. Challenge! Quit being such a girl! You have to do this or we're going to lose! Actually, if you do the math, you can't possibly win. And the score's seven to three. Not necessarily. We've got one more challenge set up. Who? It can't be me. But I didn't... You didn't have to. We're always watching you and your reactions. No! I mean, no thanks. I'm good. I just don't like green jelly, okay? I knew it! Didn't I tell you guys they were eavesdropping? Oh, who cares? It's not going to make a difference. Let's make this interesting, then. I'll give you triple points if you can complete it. <laughs> You're afraid of jelly? Shut up! Only the green kind. It's like sugary, jiggly snot. You can face your fear and dive straight into this pool of jelly, or... Let your team lose yet another challenge. This is insane. I could seriously die doing this. Oh, that is just cruel. It's probably warm by now. Warm, green, jelly, snotty, bouncy. Ugh. You're not going to make me quit. That's it, keep climbing. She's just trying to psych you out. Well, like you said, Courtney, it's okay if you can't do it. It is, but we'll lose. Oh. I can't do it. I'm coming down. Yes! All right! Then there you have it. The Gophers win invincibility this week. Again. I'm so embarrassed. How could I be so weak? I deserve to go home. Ugh. Okay, stop it. You're pathetic. Show some confidence, Courtney. Oh, you're right, Gwen. It is warm. There are only two marshmallows left on this plate. 
the three of you did not complete your challenges today. One of you is going home tonight and cannot return. Ever. The next name I'm gonna call is Bridget. The final marshmallow of the night goes to Courtney. You'll get that chicken next time, dude. Looks like a new pecking order has been established here. It's not like he can cry foul. Time for Tyler to fly the coop. He won't be flying high tonight. Okay, that's enough. 